Hey Librans, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela and this reading may be for you if you have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, heavy in your houses or you happen to be cross watching for a Libra. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today Libra. Let's get into the message. Hope all is well with you guys Libra. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for this point in time. Libra, this is going to be your mid-month, but even though you hear me giving this a time marker, I want you to know that this reading is actually timeless. It's going to be relevant whenever you happen to come across this. Remember, Libra, that with as with any general reading, the messages here can be interchangeable. And there may be some things here that are not intended for you, right? That there's some things that may not resonate to your situation if that does happen to take place let whatever that is go and take in what is for you what's not meant for you let that go um, if you feel that it does not resonate at all which may happen from time to time um, take a look at the videos for your sun moon rising or venus and understand that not everything happens at the same time for everyone with the point being listen to this with an open mind Leo, I heard Cancer right away. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo. Or this could be this that this is a very valuable time to embody the characteristics of a Gemini. Maybe right now, um, a Leo, you're a social butterfly. You're very studious. This could be a very beneficial time for you to go back to school. Um, you could be very curious about some things in your life, some people around your life, maybe just about spiritual things, possibly. Um, I feel that, yeah, collaborative. You may have some collaborative efforts that you're putting into action. You may have a brilliant idea that you're ready to bring to fruition and manifest. Um, the issue is that you may not be having the confidence to manifest what it is that you truly desire at this time for some reason. I feel that there is this desire for expansion that you may have on your heart, Le Libra. So tempted to call you Leo. Libra, yeah, optimism. You could be um, teaching, okay, leaping into some new things some new opportunities and this is definitely a very beneficial time if this isn't you learning in school um then i feel like this is life lessons that you're learning and spirit is encouraging you to erase the shoulds off of your life and understand that yeah some, sometimes life lessons don't mean that you're necessarily getting it wrong it's just an opportunity to open up your mind and expand your mind and maybe perhaps see things from a different perspective libra i feel that yeah, maybe there's a part of yourself that hasn't healed from some things in your life. It may have had something to do with this Gemini or Leo individual. Now, maybe this is you ready to explore your Leo side or embody the characteristics of a Leo. Being very flirtatious, um, extroverted, and maybe you're feeling a bit trusting at this time. Very expressive. And I feel like with this expressive energy there's something that you may want to express something that you may be ready to say to someone after a period of healing but truthfully there might be some baggage that you're still hanging on to you may not have fully healed from something is what i'm trying to say libra yeah you may be realizing that you really do have the energy to achieve certain goals in your life and there may be an ending that you may not see the truth about so in other words, maybe you don't know the truth. Maybe there are some missing pieces or maybe there are some things that you want to discuss or some clarity that you may be still desiring when it comes to a breakup situation or some type of an ending in your life. It could be an ending of a job, definitely an ending of a relationship, but it could also be an ending of anything in your life. You may not be feeling that successful with certain things that you've done thus far. Libra with certain things that are very important to you, including this relationship. But I feel that you are ready to welcome the new and trust whatever that newness brings in. The overall energy that brings us to the overall energy of your reading Libra, which is decision. So there's going to be some major decisions that you're making across the board in your life. All right, Libra. So decision is the overall energy of your reading. So, yeah, you're making uh, some major decisions across the board in your life. Decisions about love or what have you, about work, about deciding whether or not to go to school or pursue something. 
what I also feel is an, uh, is, is an overall energy is crucifixion. And what I mean by this is maybe you feel that someone's always crucifying you, fault finding. This could even be you. You may feel this way towards someone. The crossing energy to this is unconditional love. So I feel that there is someone, Libra, that you may have unconditional love for or vice versa. And at this time right now, you are obviously in separation because this is a singles reading. You may be having some mixed emotions about a situation. You may be feeling a bit uncertain about a situation that involves family, maybe a family member, or this is you have a family with some, a scenario where you have a family with someone and you're maybe making a decision to return to your family or to be single because I feel like that's something that you're vacillating between. A decision that you're juggling to be committed or to um, be single because it's like you can't have your cake and eat it too in your situation. Libra. Which may have been something that you were trying to entertain once upon a time. Right? Juggling. Juggling um, people. <laughs> Two relationships could have been going on at the same time. Keeping one secret and we're keeping them both secret from one another for some of you. Some of you could definitely be juggling work and school. Um, and yeah, making some major decisions in your life for some of you. There could be cash flow issues. Money could be eluding you. There could be some things that you feel are just slightly out of your grasp. It could be a goal. It could be money, finances at this time. And yeah, you are going to be making some final decisions. There's someone, Libra, that you are not in communication with. You may have stopped talking to someone in order to do your own thing. Maybe you stopped talking to someone because you feel that they took you for granted. And remember, the energy here can go vice versa. Maybe, perhaps they felt that you took them for granted, Libra. This individual that you have unconditional love for. And you may find yourself at a distance from this individual, this person that you love. And you may be waiting for a particular message. It could be about work, it could be about a relationship. Now, there was definitely a betrayal that's on someone's mind. Someone is definitely thinking about the past, some type of past betrayal that may have had something to do with a juggling situation where someone was being a trap trapeze artist. They, In other words, they had not ended a relationship with someone else, but, but still reaching to have a relationship with you. Now, this definitely caused a lot of instability. Um, within a relationship dynamic where there were three people, third party situations, love triangles that had everything to do with this betrayal that may have taken place. I strongly feel that now the decision that you're making is between maybe someone that you had on the side and someone that you were in a main relationship with. This individual that you stopped talking to, Libra, they're on your mind. And maybe you're wanting to cut through some things, dissect things, get to the truth of the matter, get down to the heart of the matter. I feel that you are hoping for a breakthrough in a situation and that maybe at this point you have had a change of perspective on certain things. You may have put in a lot of work and sacrifice into a relationship only to feel that you came up empty and that your partner really didn't contribute to um, a, a lot of the positive things when it came to this relationship. So I do feel that the relationship definitely reached a breaking point with something that may have happened here, including the third party and a lot of emotions and a lot of fears surrounding this ending. You may feel ghosted. You may feel rejected by someone. And for some of you, this is your child that may feel rejected by you, Libra. Because maybe you did cut them off or maybe you were short with them. Maybe you are distant and aloof from your child and maybe this is something that they are kind of processing at this time. Your child may feel heartbroken that maybe you kind of left the situation. For some of you, your children feel crucified, crucified or judged by you, Libra. 
feeling that they can never be enough for you or feel that they can never really meet your expectations. And they may be feeling very hurt at this time, very rejected at this time with something that may have taken place between the two of you. Now, for some of you, Libras, your job may have ended. There could have been an abrupt end to a job. There could have been a blow up that may have happened at a job. A job where you put in a lot of sacrifice and time into. Um, yeah, you may have severed the ties. You may have lost a job and this may have everything to do with a cash flow issue that you're dealing with at this time. Or your partner could have put you out. For some of you, yeah, there was a loss of a home, a loss of a work situation, a loss of some type of cash flow situation that has definitely gotten you on guard. You're definitely putting a wall up when it comes to love and closeness and intimate relationships after this ending that may have happened. You might be finding yourself feeling emotionally drained and maybe very, I don't know, curious about life. Okay, but yeah, at the same time, very closed off. Very distant from someone. For some of you, as I stated, you may have left a child behind during a separation. And this could definitely be what's weighing on your mind as well. There's a soulmate relationship that may not have gone the way that you had hoped. Part of you was saying, I'm ready to end the fighting. I'm ready to end the internal conflict that I'm feeling about something. You're saying, I want to make a firm decision. You may feel that a situation is hopeless, possibly with another fire sign or an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are feeling... Stuck after things fell apart. What are you feeling stuck about? Okay, you're feeling stuck with the aftermath of a third party. Now, some of you are definitely getting some favors from your friends. Yeah, you're stuck because you definitely want to get to the truth. And you want to get to a place of reunion with someone. You want to reunite with a friend or a family member or someone that you were in love with. And you're hoping for a breakthrough. And you are hoping to put your all into a situation and put put a risk out there, put it all out there to, yeah, maybe reach out to your mother. Some of you could definitely be estranged from your mom or have had mommy issues pertaining to the past when it came to rejection. Yeah, I feel like part of you is ready to give up on a situation and this is what you're grappling with it having this back and forth energy with it's like you're saying should i let this go is this over or should i fight for this should i stand guard it's like your your, your walls your defenses are definitely up with something why are your defenses up though so you could be obtaining a loan to kind of tide you over when it comes to a financial drawback yeah you definitely want to reunite with someone. For others of you, you're moving and you're definitely securing a new contract when it comes to a home situation. You definitely be on the move looking for a new place to live. Definitely looking for a new job. Yeah, you're kind of reluctant to reach out to someone. And someone may be a bit reluctant and unsure about how to reach out to you or to reach you, period. Because there could have, there could be something blocking some type of communication between the two of you. But a lot of this is really hurt and pain behind a betrayal, which is why someone has definitely distanced themselves from you. So there's an end of a chapter that you're trying to grapple with. Someone has definitely cut you out of their energy. And um, you may be waiting for some type of a message. Some of you could be waiting for a message about money, a message about this loan that we talked about. So I could be doing you a favor. Let me see. What is this? What is this message about? What does this message pertain to that you're waiting for? For some of you, it's about a job. It's about money. It's about moving. Okay, so you could definitely be waiting to hear back about a, a contract about uh, regarding a home. Okay, you're definitely making some courageous new starts in your life. You're definitely um, feeling motivated these days or, or you're getting motivated. Or this is what Spirit is encouraging you to do. Get motivated. Get in this place of self-confidence for these new beginnings. 
You may be feeling, uh, Libra, that someone is having some resentment toward you. But I do see some type of game change or some type of shift or change that may usher in some type of brand new beginning. You may be making amends with someone, including your mother, father, brother, a work colleague, a friend of yours. So I feel that amends are being made and new starts are coming in. But I feel that there was a lot of deception and secrets that were kept in this, that, that were done in this relationship, some things that were done in the dark and some things that were quite questionable. Now, after some time apart, Libra, either you or them, you may see their worth. You may see the worth in a relationship where you felt where maybe at one point you may have overlooked your feelings for someone or overlooked someone in a relationship, the, the very person that you were in a relationship with. You haven't moved on from a particular individual and you might be feeling distracted in your everyday life thinking about this person. Now, for some of you, there could have been a third party that occurred at work or at a work setting. Somebody could have been looking for a hookup with somebody at the job, right? And um, found themselves at a third party situation with someone that they worked with, a colleague of theirs, a boss of theirs. It caused everything to fall apart and buckle and fall apart between the two of you. They could be waiting to hear a message from you, cross watcher. Let's see the energy of your cross watcher. Let's see what they're dealing with at this time and what they're thinking about you, Libra. Especially a fire sign individual. I definitely see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Don't forget, we mentioned Gemini earlier. Yeah, maybe there was an issue because you were spending a lot of time out with friends. You were definitely socializing. Someone feels that maybe they had to compete for your uh, with friends, with your friends, when it came to getting attention in this connection. Okay, so they got tired of the antics. The back and forth, the ego, the pride, and then your cross soul, your cross watcher decided to release themselves from this situation and to regain their confidence and find a way to move forward from this situation. Truthfully, they do think about you. They they do reminisce. They do think about the good times, but right now they're really not taking action on you. There, there's definitely been a pause. They put the situation on hold and decided to no longer move forward. They decided to not be on speaking terms with you. They may be missing you. You're definitely on their mind. They're feeling a bit disappointed that um, you turned a blind eye to this connection and that you looked elsewhere for fulfillment in this relationship. They may be receptive to a message that you are wanting to send them. So there could definitely be some outreach on your part or theirs. And you may have sent a message, yeah, but you're feeling that, that they, they put you on hold regardless of that, yeah. They may be going through their own thing. And they may be holding some grudges and they may feel that this relationship is an uphill climb between the two of you. Definitely some very challenging situations that the two of you went through. And someone feels that they gave more to this connection than you did. And when it was time to receive in this connection, that they came up short. So in other words, they felt taken for granted. They're definitely healing from this betrayal that took place in the past. Now, for some of you, you were dealing with an ex and they found out about it. They found out the truth. So they ended it. They ended it. They let this go. And yeah, they're rebuilding after the breakdown of this relationship. And they're getting back out into the dating scene. For this. Looking as though they're not willing to... It's either one or both of you is not finding the courage to take a risk to come back and to communicate. So the two of you continue to not being on speaking terms. They're saying they're not going to take a risk. You're saying you're not going to take a risk. Not after. Maybe you already did and you felt rejected because they didn't they didn't return this offer. From an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I'm also seeing Pisces individual here. Someone that you made a lot of sacrifices for. Okay, somebody is coming back to you. Someone is definitely returning. Your cross watcher could be returning to you or you them or an earth sign could definitely be returning on the scene. 
deep down inside your cross watcher may not have wanted this reconciliation but it, it did not want the separation to occur but it looks to me that yeah there was some type of divine timing that came in divine intervention that came in and broke something down here yeah somebody definitely was looking for freedom definitely packed their bags and left feeling that the grass was greener elsewhere and off they went to have this new start now they're definitely up against some serious opposition when it came to this other relationship that they've released themselves from so they left you for someone else they're now single they're coming to you no longer entertaining a third party they realize that they still love you and that this breakup was over some very silly and frivolous things like deception and lies silly and frivolous not that your feelings are silly and frivolous but they're saying that their actions they're saying is this breakup really worth some silly actions and silly antics that i was pulling in the past so someone is kind of like seeing the issues that they caused when it came to the breakup they're finding the strength and the courage to come to you this Aries individual. We did talk about a fire sign. Aries wants to come to you to rebuild the connection. They want to come to you, but they feel, why are you feeling stuck? Aries, why are you feeling stuck when it comes to this Libra? Well, they feel like you're not gonna return their offer. They wanna make amends, but they feel like they're, they're better off being cold to you. Oh, because they feel that you're cold toward them. You guys have broken up before. You guys have done this before. They left to explore their options. They came back, right? You guys have done this dance back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth again. <laughs> Somebody's saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to know the truth, though, is what they're saying. Yeah, there's some things that you guys are wanting to communicate to one another. Some things that you're really wanting to get off your chest. Someone may be wanting to come and see you, but money is definitely a, a hindrance to this situation. Some of you may be wanting to travel, but there is no money to travel. They're definitely unhappy about the aftermath of this third party, and they, they definitely want to reunite with you. This Gemini individual, and Libra, you come up in reverse. So as I stated to you, someone feels that they're constantly being criticized by the other one. Nonetheless, they do want to work with work on the situation with you and they do want to steady something with you. They do want this new beginning and they do want to solidify something with you. For others of you, yeah, you may be uh, finding a new job. You could definitely be starting something new after an ending of a job. Um, and finding something a little bit better. Now, there might be a time where you're looking for some type of communication. You're waiting for a message about money because money is getting a bit tight for you right now, Libra. You may have Aries in your chart. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like there's definitely going to be a time where you are looking for a job. Something may end abruptly. There's an abrupt end to a contract. Something may inspire you to maybe go into business for yourself, Libra. You may be considering going into business for yourself to kind of tide you over at this time. And this could be where you're wanting some type of freedom when it comes to work. Yeah, it's definitely a time for you to heal from the past. You're definitely standing firm with certain things in your life. And you're wanting to keep an open mind about, this is the problem though. Someone was wanting to keep an open mind and see what else was out there. Exploring their options while within a rela relationship. Being flirtatious, but maybe hanging on to a baby's mom. And sleeping with somebody else. Maybe now they're involved in a codependent relationship where they may not have the finances that they need. They need some type of financial assistance and someone could definitely be providing that for them. Or between the two of you, there may have been um, an imbalance when it came to finances. Maybe one of you was more financially stable than the other one and this became a very codependent relationship. Yeah, they definitely wanted their freedom to come and go as they pleased. Like I said, while being married. And 
right now, cross watcher, you may be deciding to put yourself first and to put this relationship on the back burner and trust that this situation will play out the way that it needs to be. Because Spirit is saying this situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. The deception and the lies and the antics, as I stated to you, definitely got on your nerves. It definitely um, led to a breaking point and a time of retreating, a time away from one another. You're definitely pulling away. They definitely feel you're pulling away from them. Believer and a cross watcher and they're questioning whether or not you still care. Do you still love them? Do you feel the same? Or did you ever love them? They've got some grudges that they're carrying, some baggage that they're carrying around. And rather than approach you and share your fe their feelings with you, they, they feel like this is definitely, that they're definitely better off keeping their distance from you and definitely keeping their wall up because they're not wanting to go back into a situation with third parties and juggling and a situation where you're being faced with a decision between them and someone else. They're saying it's not really that difficult to make a decision, is it? Is what your cross watcher could be saying or feeling. One of you was having a lot of deep regret and shame about the way that something played out in the past. And you're saying after all is said and done, I've become wiser and I'm ready or, or someone is definitely wanting to regain some type of financial stability, financial footing after um, a job loss. And then this could definitely have something to do with the breakdown of the relationship. So they're trying to get themselves together and put themselves in a position to show you that they are um, ready for this. Now, some of you Libras, though you may not have spoken to this person, for those of you who do see this person, they put on a very stoic face right very mysterious about their feelings they don't want you to know how hurt they really are and how damaged they really feel about the fact that and heartbroken about the fact that there was a breakdown in this connection they wish that they could have done something differently but it looks like there's definitely a life lesson and some spiritual warfare that someone is going through as a result of the way that they treated you they are feeling worried. About this new start. Crosswatcher, you could be worried about this new start. Intuitively, you probably already know that this person is coming back to you. That your Libra is coming back. Yeah, they may have walked away. But you know it's just a matter of time before they approach you again. You may be ready to give up on this situation because you feel that someone is too stubborn. Someone definitely turned their back and looked elsewhere. And as I stated to you, a lot of regret and a lot of emotion that they're dealing with. Crying over spilled milk, wishing that things could be different. But still turning a blind eye to this connection. So, let's see what the possible outcome is to this situation. If someone did send a message. There could have been an earth sign that sent a message to you. But maybe they, that's how they found out that they were blocked or that their message went without some type of reply from you. So they're not sure what to do after this. Well, they're separated from you and separated from the third party and they have a lot of time on their hands to think about the situation and the choices that they made. possible outcome to the situation for the Libra, for the Libra sun moon rising. Big question mark, is it safe for you to love? Is it safe to put your heart on the line again? Is it safe to be optimistic about this love relationship? Because there may have been some serious things that have kept the two of you apart. It could have been difference in religion, difference in upbringing differences and how to raise the children there's definitely some red flags that you're that have raised your concern but yes the crossing energy is unconditional love and yeah that's what keeps the two of you from truly walking away from one another all right we were sorry about that sorry for the interruption let's see so three more for the possible outcome to the situation for libra yeah it looks like you guys may have retreated for a while and 
okay, this could be the one. So someone in this scenario believes that you are the one for them and they may finally step up to make the effort after a period of retreating, wanting to restore their trust in this relationship and maybe expressing their love to you about, you know, finally expressing how they feel about you after a period of retreat. Hmm. So they may actually extend this offer. It looks to me that that may be the case. Well, for those of you Libras who are completely done with this situation, or those of you who are completely single and there is no one from the past, let's see, this doesn't have to be limited to a love relationship, but yeah, this would have everything to do with a past person. It could be a friend, remember that a colleague, whomever. You have somebody from the past. You're not a hermit crap, are you? <laughs> All right, some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Let's see um, what could possibly be coming in for you. For those of you who are ready for new and you're done with this tired old situation. Let's see, Leo. Okay. Libra, some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, we have two of cups. So I feel that, okay, but you're not wanting to go back in the past. It looks like for some of you Libras, you're saying no past situation, no. Or this would, could be what your cross watcher is saying to you. You ghosted me. No, it's probably you saying that, Libra. Come in reverse, okay? Okay, yeah, someone new could definitely have caught your eye. Okay, but there's somebody that you're returning to that you love is what it tells me about this Two of Cups. Yeah, after things ended very disastrously between the two of you and things ended in disappointment and saying you don't have clarity, but let's see. Let's let's clarify this Two of Cups. Let's, let's look into, yeah, saying you don't want the past to end but you're not extending an offer. Oh no. Yeah, so you're definitely juggling a third party situation, no doubt. It's three people here. And it may have taken place at work. Here's this 10 of cups. Yeah, five of cups. Yeah. Um, what I'm saying is you may have met someone new. And though you may be saying no to the past, you may actually end up going back to this past person. But this spread is telling me that's what's on your mind. This past person, they, they haven't left your mind, nor has the love that you have for this individual left your mind. You're still thinking about them. You may not be wanting to let them back into your energy, either you, cross watcher, or Libra. You're not wanting to let this person back in your energy, but at the same time, you can't forget about them. Okay, so let's see. The advice for the Libra singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libra advice. Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. You may be clear, clearing away old clutter, healing from the past, old baggage you're clearing away. You can definitely literally be clearing away your your living space or your workspace. But I feel like this has everything to do with your mind right now because of the overall energy, which is decision. You may need to clear your mind of some things and get grounded and get centered so that you can be in a place of making a very wise and and, and, and centered decision by clearing away some clutter that's going on in your mind. Yes, absolutely. Spirit is saying it's time to clear away old patterns. It says take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. Yeah, that's exactly what you're clearing away, old patterns, including old ways of thinking that were keeping you on the hamster wheel, keeping you held bound, keeping you from your full potential when it comes to certain things in your life, keeping you from expanding your mind, right? Keeping you from running in place and on this hamster wheel. I feel like you're ready to move forward, Kent. Some of you are dealing with a cancer, but yes, Libra, you ready to move forward. Spirit is encouraging, yeah. 
2020, this is a brand new year. It's time to release old patterns and maybe get back to creative writing because some of you are very talented, or very gifted. You may write poetry, you may write music. Um, either way, you have a gift, maybe a book that you're wanting to write in Spirit is saying, stop procrastinating. Make a decision about what it is that you want to do. Libra. So with that, Libras, this concludes your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. I really hope that this reading helped someone out there. If it did, leave me a thumbs up below. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. And leave a comment below. Take good care, Libra. Peace. I'll see you guys again in another video. Bye for now.